What's up guys? Uh, it's still early, the lights are off for me right now, but I wanted to show you guys what I got here. I got this Maxi Mini. Let me see, focus. I got this Maxi Mini from um, Aqua SD. I ordered a Maxi Mini before through eBay for only 20 bucks and it came to me very small like it was probably like a 50 cent piece and I put it into this tank so I ordered another one expecting it to be that small also but what came to me was this huge anemone uh, I think instead of releasing it into my lagoon um, it's gonna give me some motivation to get the light and everything set up for my 20 long with the Fiji cube so let's get at it what's up guys it's the next day and um, yesterday I got the anemone in to the bowl he's chilling um, I cut the bracket also so everything's lined up right now I'm going to add some sand in here because um, on the first night when I turned on the light, the light just went straight through the tank and this whole corner was glowing. And um, I just added some sand into the lagoon and everything looks super nice. So let's hope for the same in this tank. I went with this Imagit Imaginarium white sand from Petco. They had a uh, a pound for $5.99 or 20 pounds for $20 and I had a um, $5 coupon so it came out to 15 bucks for 20 pounds and I used a couple cups in the lagoon and I think this is more than enough for two um, 20 gallon tanks so let's get filling and I'll show you the outcome I just want to let you guys know that I did rinse this outside in the bucket it wasn't too bad um, I used Home Depot sand before and all of that, the medium grit sand, that was very, very dusty. Uh, I just went with this because it's, I just wanted the color white and in California I couldn't order that quartz um, pool sand. So I'm going with this white Imagitarium sand. pouring it in right now cup by cup I just want a thin layer nothing too deep or anything like that this, this is how the tank is looking so far I like it a lot uh, I think I'm going to do the black background you know what let me do it right now so easy to do I still have uh, a couple of sheets of construction paper from the Dollar Tree it's like 60 cents and I got some duct tape I'll just measure it out and put it in the back see how everything turns out I hope everything just pops because I think the back is kind of a distraction right now so this is how it is now and I'll cut out once I have everything done this is what I have so far. That construction paper only took me about five minutes to cut up and I put it up with um, duct tape. And it makes a big difference focusing everything into whatever's in the center. Right now it's a refrax bowl with a Maxi Mini Anemone. I ordered one from Aqua SD before from eBay and it was about this size. This one came in and it was so big that um, I didn't want to put it into my lagoon because I feared the risk of it just moving and then um, covering my corals or something like that. So I moved and put them in this tank and that spurred me to do everything um, this week. So I cut the, I cut the light so that's done and everything else that I did today was spur of the moment so the sand was spur of the moment and the background was spur of the moment it's not that hard to do but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the tank so far so far I like it a lot 
I have some pieces coming in for the decor, but we'll save that for another video. I'm done with this tank for this weekend. We'll work on it again next weekend. Until then, I'll catch you guys on later. Bye.